Senator Melissa Wintrow says she has worked towards foster care reform for years. When she first became a legislator, she went on site visits and met social workers to better understand how the system works. She says she'll do it again. My goal for this interim is to continue to seek out more information, go back into the trenches. When you do that, you can make better policy recommendations, quite frankly. Things are already starting to look different as DHW's Family Services Administrator, Cameron Gilliland, who was under fire during the session, has now shifted roles. As the department goes through changes, I hope we'll look at some innovative ways for foster care and for child protection. But I think it's important that we take a breath, get involved, listen and learn, and work together collaboratively with the department to improve the system. She says involving stakeholders like Voices for Children and CASA will help gather necessary information for improvements. In particular, what we need to continue to do is really work on formal structures to support foster families, to make sure that we value them, are supporting them, and creating policy. Some foster parents who have told us their experiences shared policies they would like to see. It would be nice to see legislation in Idaho granting foster parents rights, like a bill of rights for foster parents. When I used to work with victims and survivors of sexual and domestic violence, having that Bill of Rights is really a great way to just kind of put on paper, here's what's expected. Out of the two policies enacted after this year's legislative session, one has yet to achieve its goal. Senate Bill 1379 regulates the use of short-term housing. Previous director of DHW, Cameron Gilliland, said they needed to be shut down completely. However, as of last week, four more children were in short-term housing than this time last month. I'm disheartened to hear that the numbers are growing and that really incentivizes the department to really put their best foot forward. If the department can continue to demonstrate we're listening, we're moving forward, and we value you, I think more foster families will enter the system and we will rebuild the